today's class we will discuss Grashof's law as well as some conditions. So according to these conditions, we can tell by using the uh, given lengths of the links, we can tell whether the given mechanism is double crank mechanism or crank rocker mechanism or double rocker mechanism. And also we can find which link is fixed one in among the given lengths. Okay. So listen carefully those conditions. First take the Grashof's law. For explaining the Grashof's law, we are taking 4 bar chain here. In it, 4 links that is AB, BC, CD, AD links. 4 links. We can call it as kinematic chain. And here one of the chain is fixed one. If in a given chain, one of the link is fixed one, then it is called mechanism. Why we are fixing one of the chain means? If you are fixing here, the other 3 links will move in one particular direction. Okay, one definite direction. That definite direction or definite motion is called constraint motion or successfully constraint motion. That's why we are fixing one of the link. So this 4 bar chain mechanism we are using in the Grashof's law. Here let us take one of the link. It is the crank. Here I have written. This crank will uh, rotate or make complete rotation about the fixed point A. Okay. And here we are taking one link, okay, CD link. I am writing here it is calling lever or rocker, okay. When it is rotating, okay, this will oscillate, okay. And this will move up and down. It will also oscillate. So, these four links have different lengths. I am taking AD link has L1 length, AB link has L2 length, BC uh, link has L3 CD link has L4 length. Okay, it has different lengths. So, here, how can we choose the lengths for getting the useful work, for getting the definite direction? Here, Grashof is the scientist name. He has given one formula. So, according to this formula, we can find whether this mechanism is possible or not, whether this mechanism is giving definite direction of motion or not. Okay, so what is that formula? Here I have written L plus S, where L is the larger length of a link in the mechanism. Plus S, S means shorter length of the link in the mechanism. Okay, the sum should be larger length plus shorter length of the link. It should be less than or equal to the other length of the two links. Okay, two links we here we are taking larger length, shorter length out of four. The other two lengths here we are taking. That is, here I have written. Let us take larger length according to the given diagram. Let us take L4 is the larger length. L4 plus shorter length. Let us take L2. L4 plus L2. The sum should be less than or equal to other two lengths. What are the other two lengths? L1, L3. Okay, the sum of L1 plus L3. So, this law is called Grashof's law. How to define the Grashof's law means this law states that for a 4 bar chain mechanism the sum of largest length and shortest length less than or equal to the sum of the lengths of the other two links that is L plus S less than or equal to P plus T. So according to this Grashof's law by using this condition we can find whether the given mechanism is possible or not that is it is uh, taking definite direction or not. Always remember here I have written crank. Crank means it is making complete rotation. Lever means it will oscillate. Okay. So here this law is giving this condition. In some examples they will give the length of each link. Four lengths they will give. We have to find which type of mechanism it is by using this lens. So this law will give some conditions. According to those conditions we can tell whether the given mechanism is double crank mechanism means here crank means it is making complete rotation here double crank means two links are making complete rotation okay and a crank rocker mechanism is crank is making complete rotation rocker or lever is making oscillation and double rocker mechanism is two links are making oscillation so we will see the, whether the given mechanism is double crank mechanism or crank rocker mechanism or, or double rocker mechanism First take the double crank or we can call it as crank crank mechanism. 
in it we are taking the four bars ab bc cd and ad okay of length ad length is l1 ab length is l2 bc length is l3 cd length is l4 we have to check by using the given values l1 l2 l3 l4 we have to check whether it is following grashof's law or not okay after that we have to take some conditions whether this length l1 length is less than l2 length okay this length is less than this l2 length or l3 length or l4 length the overall meaning is l1 should be less compared to other three lengths okay at the time what it will do means if we are fixing this ad here okay this ab link will make complete rotation about fixed point a okay if it is making complete uh, ro revolution or rotation means ab we can treat as crank similarly with the fixed point d dc is making complete rotation okay so dc is also acting like crank this is crank this is crank if this length is less that's why we are calling double crank or crank crank mechanism okay and uh, other condition for uh, double crank mechanism is whatever length l1 is less than l3 plus l4 minus l2 okay and uh, one more condition is there l1 is less than okay mod mod means here whatever value is coming minus or plus the final output will come plus so l3 minus l4 plus l2 so here we will take one example so that we can understand these conditions easily okay if all these conditions are possible if all these conditions are satisfied we can say this mechanism is double crank mechanism okay let us take one example here here i am taking some lengths in the given values largest length is 10 cm so we are using symbol l l is equal to that is l3 is equal to 10 cm let us take smallest length yes what is the smallest among all this 5 cm l1 that is 5 cm and uh, take the sum l plus s here 10 plus 5 it is 15 cm take the sum of other two lengths that is p plus q what are the other lengths l3 l1 already we took the other two lengths means l2 l4 so l2 is 7 cm plus l4 is 9 it is 16 centimeter so what is the Grashof's law l plus s less than or equal to p plus q write down the values l plus s is 15 less than or equal to 16 centimeter so the given mechanism is satisfying the Grashof's law let us check other conditions for checking whether this is double crank mechanism or not okay. let us take what is the next condition this is l1 so here i do l1 what is l1 value here L1 is 5 centimeter. Is it less than L2? It is less than L2. Okay, this can or is it less than L3? What is L3 value? 10 centimeter. Yes, it is less than L3. And what is the other condition? Or is it less than L4? L4 is 9 centimeter. Yes, it is less than L4. So this condition has satisfied. Take the other condition. L1. What is L1? 5 centimeter. It should be less than L3 plus L4. What is L3? 10 centimeter. L4 is 9. Okay, 10 plus 9. 19 centimeter here. Minus L2. What is L2? 7 centimeter. How much it is coming? So this side is 5. How much it is? 12. So this condition has also satisfied. Okay, this condition. Now check this condition also. What is that condition? L1 is 5 less than in bracket in mod l3 minus l4 what is l3 value 10 minus 9 l3 minus l4 means 10 minus 9 1 plus l2 7 centimeter okay 5 is less than mod 1 means 1 plus 7 okay it is 8 so this condition has also satisfied so if all these conditions have satisfied then it is called double crank mechanism always remember in double crank mechanism if we are fixing the shortest link okay here that is 5 centimeter this will behave like a crank it will make complete rotation and uh, this dc will also make complete rotation this will also behave like a crank that's why we are calling it is a double crank mechanism so by using the given lens we can find 
the given four bar mechanism is double crank or not okay it should satisfy the grashof's law and it should satisfy these conditions in the exams also they will give this length and they will ask what type of the mechanism it is and which link is fixed one okay we have to check all these conditions if all these conditions are satisfied you can tell this mechanism is crank uh, double crank mechanism and which link is fixed means whatever shorter length is there that is the fixed one okay let us take other conditions also whether the mechanism is crank rocker mechanism or double crank rocker mechanism take the second one let us take the crank rocker or for rocker we are calling lever also crank, crank lever mechanism also you can tell in it take this mechanism okay in it four different length links are there okay ad link has l1 length ab link has l2 length bc link has l3 cd link has l4 length okay in it we are fixing ab in previous case we are fixing ad okay here we are fixing ab if ab we are fixing this link ad link about this fixed point it can make complete rotation okay and this link 3 that is bc link will oscillate okay this is acting like crank crank is making always rotation one complete rotation and whatever oscillating it is there it is called we are calling rocker or lever so in this mechanism we are calling crank rocker mechanism okay for this crank rocker mechanism different lengths are given we have to find whether it is crank rocker mechanism or double crank mechanism or double rocker mechanism so here some conditions are there for crank rocker mechanism so first condition is it should satisfy grashof's law what is the grashof's law larger length plus smaller length of the given lengths okay the sum should be less than or equal to the other two length sum we have to take okay and after that if it is satisfying we have to check whether l2 this fixed link length is less than other three lengths l1 or l3 or l4 okay and the next condition is l1 is this l1 is less than okay l3 plus l4 minus l2 or l1 is greater than in bracket mod l3 minus l4 plus l2 in mod if you are getting negative but we have to take the positive value if you are getting let us assume it is minus 2 mod we have to consider by removing the mod we have to consider positive only okay like that we have to check all these condition for finding the given mechanism let us take one example here before taking example what i am doing for this four bar mechanism is i am fixing this link okay cd link and then in this case if you are fixing this link this ad link will make complete rotation or revolution about the fixed point d okay it is like crank and this bc link is oscillates whenever it is rotating this will oscillate this type of mechanism also we are calling crank rocker mechanism or crank lever mechanism first take the example of this take these values so in exam they will give these values we don't know which type of mechanism it is we have to check these conditions we have to tell at the end if all are satisfied it is a crank rocker mechanism for all mechanisms remember one thing it should satisfy grashof's law Okay, what is the Grashof's law? Larger plus smaller. What is the larger length in it? 11 plus shortest length 6. 11 plus 6 means it is the 17. It should be less than or equal to P plus Q. Other two lengths. What are the other two lengths? 10 and 9. 19. Sum is. Okay. So it is satisfying. 19 is more. So it is satisfying the Grashof's law. Take the next one. L2. What is L2 value here? 6 centimeters okay is it less than l1 what is l1 10 yes or is it less than l3 what is l3 value 11 centimeter yes it is less than 11 or is it less than l4 what is l4 value 9 so here 6 is less than 9 so this condition has satisfied and then take this condition l1 what is l1 value here 10 centimeters it should be less than L3 plus L4. What is L3 plus L4? 11 plus 9. It is 20. Minus what is L2 value here? 6. How much we are getting? 14. Okay. So here we are getting 14. Should be satisfying this condition. Okay. Now take the next condition. What is the next condition? L1 is greater than. What is L1? Already we took 10 is greater than. 
mod of L3 minus L4. What is L3 minus L4? 11 minus 9. Okay, we are getting 2 centimeter plus L2. What is L2 value? 6. So, 10 is greater than 8. Now, it is satisfying this condition also. So, we can tell this according to these values by using these conditions. We can say this mechanism is crank rocker or crank lever mechanism. And in it, which link has fixed one? Whatever shorter length is there. Okay, L2. L2 is 6 centimeters. It is shorter length compared to other three links. Shorter link is fixed one in it. Now, take the last one. Double rocker or rocker rocker mechanism. In it, we are taking this mechanism of different lengths. AD link has L1 length. AB has L2 length. Similarly, BC has L3. CD has L4 length. So, these four links. And then here, BC we are fixing. If we are fixing BC, this AB link will oscillate about this B point. Okay, it will oscillate about the B point. Similarly, CD will oscillate about the C point. It will also oscillate. Okay, always remember, rocker or lever will oscillate. Here, how many links are oscillating? Two links. That's why we are calling double lever or double rocker or rocker rocker mechanism. Okay, this is one rocker. This is one rocker. For finding this double rocker mechanism by using the given uh, lengths, different lengths, L1, L2, L3, L4, it should satisfy two conditions. It should satisfy Grash, Grashev's law and then it should satisfy this condition. Grashev's law means larger length plus smaller length. The sum should be less than or equal to the other two links sum. Okay, And then it should satisfy L3. What is L3? This length should be less than L1. Okay, Or this length L3 should be less than L2 or L3 should be less than L4. Let us take one example for finding the given mechanism is double rocker mechanism or not. So here the values are 9 centimeter L1 is L2 is 7 centimeter L3 is 5 L4 is 8. First take the Grashev's law larger plus smaller. What is the larger one in it? So 9 is the larger one. What is the smallest one? L3. Okay, L1 plus L3. 9 plus 5. How much it is? 14 centimeter. It should be less than or equal to P plus Q. What are the other two lengths? 7 plus 8. Okay, it is 15. So it is satisfying the first condition. Take the next condition. L3 value. What is L3? 5 centimeter. It should be less than L1. Is it less than L1? Yes, it is less than L1. Or is it less than L2? So L2 is 7. Yes. Here R we have to write. This 5 is less than 7. And then R L4. Is it less than? L3 is less than less L4. L4 is 8 centimeter here. 8. Yes. So this condition has satisfied. Then it is called double rocker mechanism. And in it which link has fixed one means whatever length here we are taking L3 length that is uh, least length in this given values. It is the fixed one. The, the type of mechanism is double rocker mechanism. Like that, we have to remember these conditions. Okay, And uh, according to these conditions, we can tell whether the given mechanism is double crank mechanism or uh, rocker crank rocker mechanism or double rocker mechanism. So this is very important lecture for the competitive exams. In it, we can say which link is fixed one and what type of mechanism it is.